Hi, shalom. This is Rachel here, and I'm going to be talking about pashminas. I'm also going to be wrapping a lot of pashminas, which you're going to see if you stick around. I just got fil done filming. I can't even tell you how many different tutorials with how many different pashminas. I'm going to play them all for you in a moment, but before I get to that, I want to talk a little bit about pashminas. What are pashminas, and what is so fantastic about them? Can you wrap your head with them? The answer is yes. I'm wearing one right now. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> but they do provide some challenges. Anyway, what is a pashmina? Uh, traditionally, pashminas are made from goat's wool or silk, a blend of natural fibers. And because of that, they all have a tight weave. I'm wearing one right now, so I'll just kind of hold it up to show you as an example. They're opaque. They have tassels. They all have tassels. And most always, <laughs> They come with one of these really annoying stickers that says pashmina on it. The fabric content might change, but the sticker is always going to be there. Anyway, uh, they're much thicker than normal scarves. You don't really, most people don't want to wear them in the summertime, although some do, because they are, um, you know, typically contain wool and they're thicker. Uh, they're great for the wintertime. They're great for the cool weather. And there are ways of wrapping it on your head to make it much easier despite their bulk and thickness. I have a couple pieces of advice though. Just general tips for head wrapping with pashminas. Number one, do not skip wearing a no slip headband on our knees. I mean, I, listen, I could say that about pretty much every type of head wrapping. Wear the no slip headband. It's going to change your life. But particularly with pashminas, <laughs> having a no slip headband underneath that keeps your scarf on your head and prevents it from moving in any way is a lifesaver. One of the things that can happen with pashminas if you're not careful is if you tie your knot too tightly in the back, they can really cause headaches, which can happen with any scarf, by the way, if you knot your scarf like that. But particularly with pashminas, you tie a tight knot and it's really thick and big and you get a headache, it's going to be a killer headache. So how do you solve that? You wear the no slip headband, <laughs> you don't tie your knots too tight, and you will be good to go. If you find that they are too warm for you to wear, and maybe you, you know, you're just your body temperature isn't really having it so much, but you still want to wear one, try wearing one with tails. Wear a pashmina in a style that allows you to wear a tail, because then you don't have that extra layer going over your head, and it'll help you stay that much cooler. So, yeah, all right. That's about it, and let's get to it. If you want to watch me tie a whole bunch of scarves on my head in a whole bunch of different styles, stick around.
Thank you. 